Nestor, thank you. Governor DeSantis is taking credit for two airplanes full of migrants that landed at Martha's Vineyard last night. Video shows the men and women deboarding that plane in Massachusetts. The governor's office says that relocation is part of the state's program to transport illegal immigrants to sanctuary destinations. Florida's budget has $12 million set aside to remove migrants from the state of Florida. In California, will better facilitate the care of these individuals who they have invited into our country by incentivizing yes. illegal immigration through their designation as sanctuary states and support for the Biden administration's open borders. Today, the governor of Florida ordered two planes loaded with migrants to be flown to Martha's Vineyard. After all, Massachusetts is a sanctuary state. DeSantis is rightly fed up with paying for Biden's open border. He has a sense of humor, doesn't he? Martha's Vineyard is loaded with rich liberals. Early this morning, a couple of bosses pulled up outside the vice president's house. They carried migrants sent by the governor of Texas. After all, Kamala Harris says the border is secure. So Governor Abbott sent the migrants to show the vice president how wrong she is. Early this week, Karine Jean-Pierre, speaking for the White House, blamed President Trump for the border mess, ignoring reality and the truth she repeated. The border is secure. Now look at this video. It's from El Paso, Texas. Ask, you, ask yourself, if the border is secure, when you're looking at that, 1,000 migrants arrived yesterday. They're sleeping on the streets. A local official says El Paso looks like a third world country. This nonsense has to stop. It is not acceptable for the White House to ignore and frankly lie about what's going on. Two million illegals this fiscal year, 1,300 migrant deaths, children drowning in the river, 100,000 fentanyl-related deaths. Biden's open border policy is cruel and it's inhumane, and he should admit it. They are overwhelmed by a few dozen migrants arriving on buses from Texas. It is a fraction of what Texas faces on a daily basis. We will continue busing migrants until Joe Biden secures the border.